hope you're enjoying the sounds of an Italian train station. We're heading up into the mountain valleys today to find out what's going on up in South Tyrol, historically known as, right? Taking this train right here, the fast train, up to what was known at one time and perhaps still as the German-speaking part of Italy. So let's go see, we'll find out what's going on up in South Tyrol. Here we are up in the Alps, still within Italy, and doing a little work here on the railroad that we came in on. So, as I think I mentioned when we were way down in Verona, this area, it's called South Tyrol, South Tyrol, historically. German and was a part of Austria for quite some time. Austria, of course, being a German-speaking country, but I suppose it's um, maybe closer to, gravitationally, closer to the Munich area in Germany, as far as the distance, etc. And got a little announcement going on here. It was in Italian and now it's in German. And as you can see, the name of the town here in Italian, Bressanone, in German, Brixen. Quite a few tourists in this old part of town, but it would appear based on what you see coming in on the railroad that this area is also quite industrial, which is, um, I suppose, very common for the more affluent areas of Europe, which this part is considered to be one of the wealthier areas of Italy. What they have in common is those places tend to, um, they tend to just make a lot of stuff and sell it. Imagine that, right? What a concept, make good stuff and then sell it to people who want to buy it. Some very smartly dressed dogs here in town. And um, as you can see, for the most part, I would call that to be quite a um, German Alpine style of architecture. So how did we get here? We know this was once a part of Austria and it was really in World War I when there was a lot of fighting kind of taking place along that border area where the Alps sit, that border between the Italian and German world, quite a bit of fighting took place, especially to the east of here. You might have heard of the book um, A Farewell to Arms by Hemingway was written in that area or part of it at least um, is set in that area east of here along the Alps. And it was when Italy supported the Allies during World War I, and of course the Allies came out on the uh, winning side of that conflict, that this area of South Tyrol went into the country of Italy and has been here ever since. And in the uh, years especially leading up to World War II, when Mussolini was in power, there was um, an effort to what they called Italianize this area, to make it more Italian. And uh, that has, I suppose, to some, some extent had an effect. And they do have inside of this church courtyard a memorial which covers both world wars. You've got World War II on one side, and then we have the dead and missing from World War I on the opposite side. So you can see there were quite a few people from both world wars from this little geographic area who died or went missing. 
We never found out what happened to some of those people. And then along the church wall here, we have what I believe to be the graves of some very important religious figures from this area going way back over the years. So here's, for example, one of those people. I hope you enjoyed looking around this town as much as I did. Whether you call it Bressanone, whether you call it Brixen, it's an interesting mix. German, Italian, touristy stuff, industry. You might be able to see some of those little palm trees behind me. Warm enough for those, and of course, snows in the winter. So it's the kind of place that we like to visit. I hope you'll join us for the next one, and until then, goodbye.